Well, hello everyone, Dr. Jeff Galini here and welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. This show is about busting myths, bringing you the truth. Hey, I think this week must have been creatine week because um, all I got was a ton of questions on creatine and crealkaline and that's fine, love answering them. Um, my friend Yannick writes in and says, does crealkaline creatine cause hair loss? Um, great, great question. Um, he goes on to say that he saw something online that somebody said to avoid um, creatine products because they have bad side effects and that they'll make his hair fall out. First of all, let me say you got to be careful with what you read online. Most of it is complete rubbish. Um, there are too many um, online experts, as I call, that really are giving you nothing more than their opinion. Um, the only thing that I found was there's a 2009 study um, that said that some creatine, they could associate it possibly with increasing a hormone called DHT, which, you know, elevated DHT levels could theoretically cause hair loss. This was a far-fetched far -fetched hypothesis and really was somebody's opinion. Um, and all the years that I've been working with creatine, remember, I was the first one to bring it to market. I have never heard nor seen or found a speck of research that was legit that said that creatine causes hair loss. Now, with that said, let me say that not all creatines are created equal. When you take creatine monohydrate is what I'm talking about when I say creatine, but when you take it, you subject it to hydrochloric acid, alpha ketoglutaric acid, or some other acid, and you come up with creatine HCL, and the list goes on and on and on, you now have basically molecularly changed that creatine molecule. Now, could those call, cause hair loss? Absolutely. I mean, I don't know the purity. Most of them are rubbish. Um, they all come from China. So again, you run into a whole lot of issues. So I would stay away from anything except for crealkaline, which is the, the world's only stable creatine monohydrate or creatine monohydrate. All the rest of those other forms, I would be leery and careful because they could cause hair loss just because of the impurities, the way they're produced, and the amount of acid um, that goes into uh, trying to uh, make that more water-soluble. So, hope that helps, my friend.